Good morning. Our scripture reading today in uh, discerning how God is calling us to love is from the book of Ruth. And it's perhaps the most famous passage from this book. But I would encourage you to read this book in its entirety. It's very short. It doesn't take very long. And it's a good story to remind ourselves of. Ruth, uh, well, Naomi, Ruth's uh, mother-in-law, loses her uh, husband and loses her uh, sons as well, who uh, were supposed to be married to uh, Ruth and uh, Orpah. But Ruth, unlike Orpah, stays with her mother-in-law, even to her disadvantage. And Naomi says to her, starting in chapter 1, verse 15, See, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not press me to leave you or to turn back from following you. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. There I will be buried. May the Lord do thus and so to me, and more as well, if even death parts me from you. This is such an extreme example of love and of loyalty as well. Loyalty in the face of reason and common sense. It is not smart for Ruth to do what she's doing here, to stay with Naomi. But Ruth knows that Naomi is going to need help. Ruth knows that this woman, to whom she has no formal connection now, will need her company, will need her as family in order to survive. And so Ruth lives out God's commandment to love. Ruth sticks with Naomi, even to her detriment. This self-sacrificial love is exactly what Jesus is talking about. When we see the opportunity to love in a way that doesn't make sense to the rest of the world, then we have the opportunity to more fully reveal who God is to the rest of the world. And no, it's not easy. And it is much easier to just give in to reason and common sense sometimes. But sometimes God calls us to do the thing that is not in our self-interest, to do the thing that more clearly shows love, to help the widow, the orphan, the poor, the impoverished, to help people who are powerless, the stranger, the foreigner. When God is calling you to do these kinds of things, to love sacrificially to people who are so clearly in need of it, I hope that you are willing and able to hear God speaking clearly, and I hope you're encouraged to follow, even when it's difficult. Let's join in prayer together. In the light of the morning, God, we glorify your name. May the mystery of your incarnation in Jesus Christ shine through the complexities of this day so that in all we do, your name might be praised. Amen. Have a blessed day.